Hi everybody, my name is Chance, Y-A-Y-A, -Y -A, that's my last name. So today we are coming to interview people, like how they feel about this worm and then how they get like some good world like outside. Girl, I have some of my friends, there is, I don't even know his name, but I will ask. Hey! Hey, <laughs> Um yeah we're going to go to a cooling center and uh around that area and just ask people what they do to cool off um and their thoughts just on the current heat um because we're all dying currently <laughs> what, what was your name avery avery hi folks i'm andrew um yeah we're going to be going to cooling centers asking some questions about the heat and yeah so yeah um good to thank you for <laughs> allowing us to talk to you real quick you're welcome um so my first question for you Tim right is it right yep um how do you, what is your main technique for staying cool during these last couple of days my main technique drink lots of water you you know just drink lots of water. That's the main thing, so that you don't get dehydrated. And uh, mm -hmm. then the other thing is, uh, just be cool. Don't yeah. you know? If you don't have to, don't don't do too much. Don't work. If if you don't have to work outside, don't. If you do work outside, do it early. And if you have to work, if you're outside during the heat of the day, um, big hat, sunscreen, yeah. drink lots of water, yeah. and take it easy. Don't you know? Just it's good cool. advice. Good advice. Do you know about the cooling centers? of the city that they set up? I don't. I don't know anything about that. Okay. If you knew about the cooling centers, do you think you would go? Um, I don't think, for me, it wouldn't be necessary. I'm lucky enough to, to have some air conditioning in my house. So I just go home and sit in the room with the air conditioning, shut the door, you know? Yeah. Yep. So, I, you know, I, I, I don't need that. And I understand that there are many, many, many other people who don't have that privilege like I do. So. Uh, these things it's a wonderful thing it's a good thing well thank you for talking with us today okay guys have a good one and you do the same thanks hi Prince um, good to meet you and good to speak with you today um, I got some couple questions for you what is your main technique for staying cool these last couple of days uh, my main technique is probably staying home like find a place that have like AC or like fans and stuff because lately it's been getting hot. Like this weather nowadays, if you go like under the sun, is like not good for you. And like, yeah, I um, I would akin it to being like taking damage, like one percent, just standing under the sun. Another question: Do you know about the city's cooling centers? I've not heard about it. Um, have you? consider doing something like that i mean i know you said you go to different places just look for ac but like uh if you knew about a cooling center would you go yeah i would go yeah only what only if like outside is like really hot and then i can just go to that place and just chill there yeah yeah okay okay um thank you for speaking with us yeah your name's prince right yeah. cool like the singer <laughs> yeah <laughs> So, hi Zach, uh, my name's Andrew, um, this is Avery, and we're going to ask you some questions about the heat for the last couple of days. Um, do you, okay, I don't know what's happening with my mic, do you, um, what is your, like, your main technique for staying cool for, the, like, the last couple of days? Staying hydrated, it's a big one. It's hard to stay in air-conditioned spaces with, with my work in the Parks Department, so it's important to stay hydrated for me, um, in the shade if I can. I'm um, certainly swimming, but we're obviously struggling with Lake Champlain right now, um, and I haven't had a ton of time for that either, but I love, love staying hydrated, I love staying cool any way I can. I love the heat when there's water, so every once in a while I'll take a cold shower even, I guess. All good things, cool. Um, do you know about the city's like mandated cooling centers? Um, I have heard a little bit about them, yeah. I believe there might even be one in this building, but I'm not sure, I wouldn't. What, what are the nature of these cooling centers? 
Um, I believe they just provide a um, public space for people to stay um, when there is severe heat, you know, to the point where it impacts public safety. Um, do you see yourself like traveling to another cooling center today or? No. Probably not. Um, I was pleased to see how well the AC is working in here today. When I got back, I was out in the field a lot of the day. And um, yeah, my apartment's not as cool as here, but it's certainly cooler than some places. And, um, you know, I feel very grateful to have a place that's comfortable enough, you know, personally. So I'll say that's those spots for people who might need them. Yeah. Cool. Well, thank you for your time. Yeah, thank you, guys. So I'm sorry, I just forgot your name. I'm Juliana. Juliana. Juliana, um, thank you for speaking with us. Um, this is an interview with CCTV. Um, I'm going to ask you some questions about the heat and like how do you like cope with the heat, pretty much. Okay. Is what is your main technique for coping with the heat? Um, I think I try to maybe go swimming in the lake. Well, obviously it's you can't swim in the lake right now, but or in a pool or um, drinking lots of water, um, maybe taking cold showers, some things like that. Yeah. All good things. Okay. Um, that's cool. Do you know about cooling centers? I have not heard of the cooling centers before. Hmm. Okay. And if you knew about the cooling centers, would you go? I'm not sure. Um, I've been working here this week, and so we've just been staying inside a lot, and um, I'd probably probably go to my house where we have some air conditioning and stuff like that. Okay. Well, thank you for your time. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Cool. We're good. So, Nadia, um, thank you for allowing us to interview you. Um, do you know of cooling centers? I do not know. Do you know if the city of Vermont has, I'm, I'm sorry. No, that's good. That's good. <laughs> um, do you know if the city has um, done like cooling sure. centers before? Oh, sorry. <laughs> that is, I should get <laughs> Right, so question. Do you know if the city has like done cooling centers before? Um, I don't, not to my knowledge. I have no idea. Um, what, how, how do you stay cool during this heat? Um, honestly, just drinking a lot of water and making sure, like, you're not spending too much time outside and, like, working out outside, like, spending less time outside if you're working out outside. Okay. Okay. Um, any advice for people that, like, are traveling during this time? Um, honestly... Once again, drinking a lot of water, but... Um, Staying hydrated. Yeah, trying to stay inside, even if you're, like, an outdoorsy person, trying to stay inside. Um, and also for people with pets to, like, make sure that their pets have water. <laughs> right. Got to support the pet parents. Um, yeah, that's cool. Well, thank you for speaking with us. Yeah, no problem. All right, coming back to y'all, we've uh, visited some cooling centers. We've talked to some folks. Um, what did y'all think? The thing I'm thinking about, like, when you go in, the sun is too hot, but when you coming under the shadow of the tree, you can feel, like, good and excited of yourself and your body that way you feel. So that's the only things I think. What do you think about? Um, I found the cooling centers really interesting. Before today, I didn't even know that, um, those were a thing that existed um and i think that's a really cool haha -ha pun um a really cool like option for people that don't have ac units or like a way to cool themselves off and yeah what? yeah my final thoughts are stay cool and cooling centers should be more of a thing everywhere <laughs>